So I'm gonna show you how this ABSEN program works. Basically, you paint one keyframe and the program will paint the rest of the frames for you. Now this sounds like the AI is painting the rest of the frames, but that's not exactly what happens. I mean, I wish that was the case, but I don't think AI is that smart enough yet. Isn't that right, Hall? Affirmative, Dave. Now, if you have a footage with a subject or the actor character is doing some complex movement, uh, such as running or rotating 360, then you'll need to paint multiple frames to accommodate those new pixels that are being revealed in the footage. So I'm going to show you some uh, examples from my trials and errors. Let's look into the first video that I've ever uh, made. Now, this was more like a trial, trying different style, and it was made using one keyframe. So I really wanted to see the result basically, playing with different color palette or style. Since only one keyframe was used, as you can see, uh, when the character is walking, the paints are kind of bleeding. Unless I painted multiple frames, I wouldn't get this issue. Now this is the uh, original footage basically. Now let's look into my second trial, which was a bit more complex. And the reason why is because this character had a lot more movement, a lot more actions. So we're talking about just a simple few seconds uh, clip where the character is walking and then turning around almost 180. So this requires multiple keyframes. So one of the things that I struggle a lot in the beginning process is to find a style or a color palette that I'm satisfied with. So sometimes I would just play around, sometimes I would just do some research, look for some cool uh, paintings, arts that I could, you know, get inspired by or simply steal their colors. <laughs> And sometimes you just have to discard it by yourself, but just by playing with it. And that could take a bit of time, just in the beginning process for your first keyframe. And then I could come up with something interesting. Like, hey, you know what? I'm satisfied with this. Now I'll paint the remaining keyframes with this color. And I would just copy and paste. I would. I've been looking into Wallop's painting and I'm a big fan of his colors and his style. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool to see a, a video clip instead of a still image of this style? Maybe an entire movie, but you know, with the program ABSEN, it's possible. I did an experiment, so I downloaded Wallop's concept art. I have a video footage, a clip from a music video. So I thought, how about I combine this with this footage? What happens if I put them together? And this is the result. And I was quite satisfied with it. So it's not the best footage because it's uh, it kind of goes out of focus and EBSynth is not able to track it down. I had to draw multiple frames for a very small clip and that was not expected. And the reason I had to draw a couple of frames is because you have this, um, this clot. It goes in front of her face, then it comes out. So you need more frames for that. So I'm gonna show you the process of how I uh, created this. Basically, I want to apply Wallop's painting color palette on this footage. Now, the first thing that I like to do is create a guideline, trace it basically, and I would paint underneath this layer so I know what I'm painting. And I'm gonna go all the way down over here and look at the process. So the first thing is just kind of discovering, playing with it. It's still in the early stage. And the next step, I guess what I did is like, I'm just, I just color picked it. I'm like, okay, I have my brush over here. I'm just gonna color pick this color and apply it over here. And then uh, there's a bunch of layers over here, still a work in progress. And as you see right now, I use a soft brush to blend everything. And now I am playing with the light, basically uh, having the same light as this image. Now when it comes to light, you know, you need to have some kind of fundamental of light and shadow. So you understand how to apply light onto an object. And as you see, I'm, you know, I pay attention to like little details like the transition between the light and the shadow and this little pink color that I'm putting it in between. Now I'm like, hey, you know what? I might as well just add another light coming from this side, just like this image over here. I'm not paying too much attention over here because the whole purpose is to make it quick. Then I decide to just change the color of the light for this side of the face. Now you can remove the guide or you can keep the guide. It comes down to personal uh, preference. Now that you have one frame done, you have to do a couple more frames and this is what I end up doing. So as you can see over here, I have actually eight frames painted for this uh, little clip of, I think, two seconds. In the comment section, if you have any questions, write it down and uh, let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see. So good luck with the project and see you next time.
Hall. Open the door, Hall. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Hall, are you going to open the door? This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. <laughs>